We've heard the stories about Briarhurst Manor in Manitou Springs. Built in 1876, it burned to the ground 10 years later and was then rebuilt. Many believe the grounds are haunted by ghosts from a bygone era. We have little things that we just can't explain. You know, we don't know how they happen, where they come from. Briarhurst President Ken Healy to... says the occurrences are just too obvious to ignore. From salt and pepper shakers being turned over in the middle of the night, from the water being turned off in a locked room in the basement to a picture frame flying across the room, uh, vases jumping off of uh, a, a tabletop. We wanted to find out for ourselves if the legends are true. So we went along with Colorado Springs-based Pure Paranormal for an overnight investigation. We were warned, though, that on many of these investigations, nothing happens. It's a lot of patience. It's a lot of time. And, uh, but when you do get the activity, it's well worth the wait. But we didn't have to wait too long. Within minutes of our first investigation, Pure's equipment used to measure electromagnetic energy and fields get active as we start asking questions. We are in uh, the, I'm going to call it the bleeding room because I don't know what this place is called. Suddenly a flashlight that was turned off switches on when another off? investigator I mean, starts asking questions. That one hasn't even been set. Not at all. But the unexplained activity wasn't through. One of the most interesting things though was the uh, the glass that you heard shatter and then we find broken glass on the bar that wasn't there beforehand. While taking a break, we and the team heard a glass break in a room nobody was in. When we went in there, there was glass broken on the bar, but none of the wine glasses were actually broken. At the time, we were the only people in the building. I went with two team members to conduct an investigation in the adjoining room. One member thought he saw a hand near the bar. No, well, it almost looked like somebody reached out from behind the bar. As that happened, my camera, which had a fully charged battery, went dead. I, I shouldn't be out of battery yet. I shouldn't even be close. I haven't shot, I've only shot about 18 minutes tops on this thing. Wow. That's dead. Pure tells us batteries will quickly die as spirits gather energy. I quickly grab another battery. Those shards of glass that were separate were somehow pushed back together. We were the only people in the room and nobody had been near the broken glass pieces since we filmed it. Uh, what did you say oh, earlier? earlier it was, uh, I thought I saw something kind of like move out from behind the bar and then back in. But that wasn't like that. That was separated when yeah, we left. the glass was separated when we came. It's also fair to say that we didn't see any actual ghosts and that the meter readings could have been due to a number of things. But in a house with this much history, it makes you think. 130 some years of people have been coming and going. And maybe, just maybe, a few who've never left.